Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I am Steve Chapman. Today it's about something you've asked me to do. To compare different baits against each other. Today, the first one we're going to do is called the Versus Series. And it's the Jackhammer versus the Guggen clickbait. It's widely recognized that this bait right here, the jackhammer, is the king of all chatterbaits. It's made with the best components, catches giant fish, and quite honestly, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with it. It is a pricey bait, but it's a winner. But professional anglers and regular anglers like myself have used this bait and been successful, caught giant fish, and it's won tournaments. It's been unbelievable it's an exceptional bait it's amazing however new to the market from the Guggen squad young men is the new clickbait many online sites have sold out on this bait and really the lead up to this lure has been awesome it's been literally awesome the sales have been ridiculous so I've written down a bunch of categories that I think will help us tell which one is better than the other. And what we'll do is we'll give it a one to 10 rating. And at the end, we'll see which one is the best. But those categories are gonna include sound, price, castability, if that's even a word, casting distance maybe is a better way to put it. We'll, we'll look at startup speed. We'll look at what it looks like in the water, what the presence in the water is. We'll look at the trailer keeper, we'll look at the size of the bait overall, the hook, everything. And we'll rate those from one to 10. And then we'll see which one we think is better. But by all means, if you think or disagree or have a comment, I want you to comment below. I'll try to respond to all of them, but let's look at this as professional as possible. Because in my mind, I've already picked my winner. But this isn't about me. This is about teaching and telling you more about both these baits and why one might be better than the other. So here we go. Let's do this, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Get Your Fish On versus Chatterbait versus Chatterbait. Bladed Jig versus Bladed Jig. Now introducing in the blue corner, weighing in at three eighths of an ounce, dressed in black and blue from Evergreen International, the king of Chatterbaits, the Jackhammer. And in the other corner, weighing in at three eighths of an ounce and dressed in white and chartreuse from the Guggen Squad, it's the clickbait. Guys, I want to see a clean fight. No feeding of animals during the break or every video. No copying of intellectual property. Scratch that, it's already been done. Guard yourselves at all times and may the best bait win. Let's do this. Startup speed. The jackhammer starts instantly, and I mean instantly. You don't need to twitch your rod or do anything fancy. Just start reeling. The Guggen Squad clickbait didn't start as fast, but it did work very well. It started moving almost instantly, but I noticed a few times I had to give a rod twitch to make it start working properly. Jackhammer 10, clickbait 8. Next is sound. If you've ever used the jackhammer or seen it underwater or heard it underwater, it is instant sound. It attracts fish from everywhere to come attack. The clickbait does not. The clickbait's blade does not hit the head of the lure. Thus, you don't get that clacking sound that you want from a chatterbait. The clickbait does have beads that make some noise, but really, it's really hard to hear. I understand why they call this a vibrating jig instead of a chatterbait, because it doesn't chatter. Jackhammer 10, clickbait 3. Next is the action of the bait. Both have great action with a trailer. I think you'll notice in the underwater that the jackhammer has a tighter wobble and it moves faster side to side. The clickbait has a wider range of wobble, but it still works. In this case, I think it comes down to personal preference. So both get a nine in this case. Little side note here, both need a trailer to work properly. And in this case, I use the Smash Tech Blade Aid. Now on to price. Price and sound are the two biggest differences in these baits. The Guggen clickbait is $8.99 and the jackhammer is $15.99. Now, the best way for me to put this in perspective is while a Mini Cooper is a, a great car, 
but if you can afford a V12 Lamborghini that's naturally aspirated and is a supercar, you buy the Lamborghini. It's just that simple. Now I know people are going to go, well, I can get two for one. That's good. That's really good. For me, personally, I'd rather have one great bait than two average at best baits. But to keep it real, clickbait 10, jackhammer 6. It's skirt time. Both offer a hand-tied skirt. Both are silicone, but which one presents itself better in the water? While the clickbait has a bigger presence in the water, both have the same overall presence. I'm going to give the clickbait an 8 and the jackhammer a 9. And here's why. I think the jackhammer works faster and it goes side to side. So that has a better presence and looks like a fleeing fish more. To keep it real, both look great underwater. And on to casting. While I love the jackhammer, this is the one thing I do not like about this bait. It likes to knuckleball. This happens because the bait is not aerodynamic. However, because the blade of the clickbait is even larger, it knuckleballs even more than the jackhammer. Long bombing casts just don't happen with either one of these baits. They still cast a good distance, but they don't have that extra long cast that sometimes you really do need. But if you have to rank one over the other, the jackhammer casts much better than the clickbait. And since we're comparing the two, jackhammer 10, clickbait 7. Little side note here, I find that both cast a little bit better if you cast them sidearm instead of over your head. And always set the hook with a sidearm hook set. As I said earlier, the jackhammer has some of the finest components on the market. So let's look at the blade, the trailer keeper, hook, and the overall size. The jackhammer is more compact, not as long, has a smaller blade, and it has two exceptional trailer keepers. The clickbait has a much larger blade. It is longer, but it also has a smaller gapped hook and a much different shaped hook too. Both offer a super sharp sticky hook. Let's start off by grading the trailer keeper. The jackhammer gets a 10, hands down easiest thing I've ever graded. The clickbait does have two trailer keepers, but one is attached to the jig, so we're gonna give it an eight. On to the hook. My opinion, the jackhammer has a much better hook than the clickbait. I like the wider gap, I like the different shape, I just think it's a better hook. Jackhammer 10, clickbait 8. On to the blades. This could cause a little controversy. Why? Because if you're bouncing this off the bottom, well, it's going to damage the blade. And truthfully, if you're looking for a bladed jig to dive down and be a deeper water bladed jig, then you've got the wrong one with the jackhammer and the clickbait. And if you want one for deeper water, look at the Z-Man Chatterbait Freedom CFL. That thing goes straight to the bottom. Both blades are still very good, but one is bigger than the other. Both get a 9 in this case. However, I think the jackhammer has a better shape than the clickbait. Now here's the real question. Which one do you prefer? I know my, what I prefer, but I'd like to hear what you prefer, which one you would prefer. So comment below and tell me what you think, because I'm just going to keep it real. The jackhammer is one of the most successful baits I've ever used. I'm confident with it. I know how it works, and I've flat out caught some giant fish on that bait. And having that confidence, it makes that bait even better for me. And that's just me being honest. Because really, I wouldn't go to a Chinese restaurant to order a chicken parm. And I have done it. I, it was a big mistake. But if I'm going to put on one chatterbait, the one chatterbait I'm going to put on is the jackhammer for sure. And while I love using new products, the problem that I have with the, the clickbait is that I just don't think it measures up to the jackhammer. That's the truth. That's just being honest. And if I'm putting on one chatterbait, it's the jackhammer. So do me a favor. Uh, go down, comment below, and tell me what you think. Also, subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, please subscribe, like, comment, and click that notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. And be part of the Get Your Fish On team. Okay, it's time to tally up the score and see who won the first versus Jackhammer versus the clickbait. So there we have it, our first versus the Jackhammer versus the Guggen Squad or Guggen Baits clickbait. I think you can see when it was all said and done, the jackhammer is a solid A 
chatterbait, vibrating jig, where the clickbait is a solid C. To be, to keep it real, the jackhammer is really an A minus bait, but its only major difference, or the only thing it really took a hit on, is price. Now, in my opinion, I'm on a budget, but in this one case, the jackhammer is worth the money. That's just just how it is. I think the clickbait probably has a great place in the in the market, and probably does catch fish. But if I'm going to tie one bait on, or one chatter bait, or vibrating jig on, it's going to be the best, and that's the jackhammer. And hopefully, you see that in the video. I want you to go down below and and tell me what you think. Comment and tell me what you think. Also, subscribe to the channel too, guys. I hope you have a blessed day. Remember to take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We will see you soon. Thank you. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Cheers.